weeks after the Punjab provincial government said it cannot provide security cover to Chinese citizens not affiliated with Pakistan government projects and China-Pakistan economic corridor projects. China asked citizens in Pakistan to remain cautious. It should be noted that the Chinese embassy in Pakistan also shut down its consular services citing technical difficulties and did not provide a timeline regarding a possible reopening of the consular section. Also, Pakistan's Punjab province government directed Chinese citizens working with private companies to hire private security companies for their security in early February. The Special Protection Unit SPU, set up by the provincial government in 2014, is not currently equipped to provide security cover to those Chinese citizens who are not affiliated with Pakistan government-sponsored projects. According to a source in Islamabad diplomatic enclave, the Chinese embassy was receiving threats from TTP and Baloch rebels continuously. So, the embassy in consultation with Beijing decided to suspend its consular services to avoid any mishaps and incidents. The source also revealed that China is not happy with the Shahbaz Sharif-led coalition government as the attacks on Chinese citizens and China-Pakistan economic corridor projects are on the rise. If Islamabad can't protect our citizens, projects and interests, we know the way, Beijing has reportedly said according to the source. Beijing informed Islamabad that it cannot do work and business in a grave security situation with Chinese workers being threatened and killed in Pakistan. Despite assurances by Pakistan Prime Minister Sharif on his visit to Beijing last year, China is not feeling safe in Pakistan. Rising security threats have pushed Beijing to take strong measures, with the embassy in Pakistan informing its citizens, workers, and businessmen to stay safe and avoid risky areas. After the threats, a majority of Chinese families are leaving Pakistan too.